good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. As you guys know, uh, I, I know many people now uh, in Dalton, and uh, because of these videos that I have been involved with, I've been you know interviewing people, I've met other YouTubers. It's crazy how the dislike for Tiffany Hingard has brought us together. Uh, but one of the brothers that I have a high admiration for is a brother by the name of Edward Steve. Now, before I ever spoke to Edward Steve, I made a very touching video about him. Edward Steve is a trustee <clears throat> in the village of Dalton. Not originally from Dalton, he came by way of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but he resettled there and he fit very well into the community and he was a trustee for many years. Once he found out the evil about Tiffany Hingard, he became her largest critic. Tiffany Hingard worked with the public to slander this man. He lost his seat as a trustee. But the one thing about Brother Edward Steve that is very remarkable, and many of us as black men wouldn't have done this, he kept on working with the community. Uh, he kept with the Dalton trustee page, he kept putting all her lies out there. A lot of the news clippings in WGN and Fox 32, and a lot of them were getting and using his page as a resource. And the money that was coming from that uh, was going to support things in the community. And he still is like the fifth trustee that nobody can see. This is the black man that is a throwback brother okay we don't have black men like this in the community anymore a black man who's a married black man he's a homeowner he works there and he, he's responsible for helping those in the community he's selfless and we don't have many black men like that anymore but a lot of us as brothers if we lost our seat with the hell with y'all y'all deal with it that's not what he did he didn't have attitude with nobody but now let me tell you what's going on um with Dalton Unfortunately, Chief Lacey, Lewis Lacey, is doing everything in the power to disrupt progress in Dalton. And as you know, there was a meeting and a lot of the uh, elderly were not able to get in. They had to walk block because the handicapped parking and things were blocked <clears throat> by the police. But also there was a situation with brother Edward Steve. Now Edward Steve mentioned something in this video about how he was mistreated by Lacey. Let's play the clip. Good evening, good evening. Uh, residents, board of trustees, mayor, I wanna say to the cops, to the rank and file soldiers, I have a lot of respect for y'all, but that clown for y'all, that damn chief of police to try to put me out for nothing to have me walk out, to try to get me out for what, for what? This is the type of stuff that we're dealing with. Black people didn't sacrifice for us to get leadership and act like this. You didn't go through years of Jim Crow segregation for us to get into this political position and treat other black people like this. This is what we're dealing with, this terrible administration to try to put me out. I'm struggling with my left leg, with my MS, but I'm here. This has to stop. This has to stop. We got a clean house. We got to vote all of them out. All of them out. Stan Brown, Andrew Holmes don't say nothing. Nothing. Y'all sit up there quiet. What do you have on you? Y'all don't have no freedom to speak? Do you have any nuts? Anything? I'm sad. I'm sick and tired of it. To hear them try to put me out. To try to, to try to like, hey, let me talk to you outside. And me, me go. I respect the cops, the rank and file soldiers who helped me, who said, no, nah, you ain't going to do this. But this, how much money has Chief Lacey cost his village? How much money? How many lawsuits? Let how many talk. bad things? Let them talk. How many bad things has this chief done? And the fact that she got him the, t the top cop, the top cop. This has to change, residents. It's going to change the unity of the, of the people of Dalton. That's how we change this. We got to vote her out, period. If you don't know your block, if you don't know your neighbors, come to the Dalton Trustees YouTube page. Come to the team with the trustees. That's how we change this. It's a, it's, it's a mess. I can't believe this man tried to put me out. He tried to, she tried to do, they tried to joke and try to cook me. I tried to shake his hand. No, he didn't want to shake my hand. You should be ashamed of yourself, Lacey. You should be ashamed of yourself. 
That's all I want to say. Let me talk about something that he mentioned. Brother Edward Steve suffers from multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis is um, a very dangerous disease. It pretty much attacks the myelin sheath. And what the myelin sheath does, it protects your spinal cord in your body that covers the nerves, fibers, and causes communication, right? So that's what your myelin does in your body. You know, when you think about going to pick up something, well, if you don't have that, okay, you don't get that signal to say, pick up, and then your your arm or your muscle is innervated to go ahead and do such. So it causes um, movement problems, many problems that you can get, all right? He's been dealing with this vision problems, he has trouble walking. He has trouble keeping balance. All right. Now, and he has young children, so he's battling that and he's going to work every day. So he's not able to even really, he's handicapped. But this is a brother. Let me see how strong the black man is. This is a brother out here who's doing all this video work and editing by himself. He's doing it with multiple sclerosis. You see that uh, these interviews this brother does? He brings out his own equipment. I, I know how it is to set up interviews and, and to edit out a podcast. His man is doing it with multiple sclerosis. Some of these people can't even do this and they healthy. And then for Lacey to treat this brother like this. No, no, you don't believe me. Because Lacey got all kind of lawsuits in his career. What about what happened with brother Jedediah Brown when Lacey was out there stalking him? It's on camera. Don't believe me? Play the clip. So right now I'm being followed by a cop car and then he is pulling behind me and I don't know who you who he is. Why are you following me? Okay, so this is the cop car and I need that's Lacey. This is Lacey. This is some cop from some apartment following me right now. Who are you? It's a completely tinted car. They following me wherever I'm going. I'm not afraid. Who are you? Who are you? You not, no, you bro, you going on the whole other side. Who the f are you? I don't, I, I'm not afraid of none of y'all. So don't play no games with me, bro. Don't follow my car. Don't follow my car. Have a good day. Have a Good day. They literally are following my car, circling me. I don't know who this is, but all of a sudden now that I have a conversation with this man, now this starting to look like that shit. That is that a dodge? So what's up, bro? Like, like what's up? Like, what do you want? Move. All right, so now this is this this thing went to a whole another level. Now they want to play games with me a whole different way. So I'm trying to figure out who this is. That's a blacked out car. It's police played it. It's police played it. I'm you know what, bro? They got me. Y'all got me good. It's police cars all around me, and they don't. These are all Dalton police officers, and I want to tell y'all, y'all really got the right, got the right one, bruh. Got the right one. Look, that go another cop car right there. There's a cop car behind me. Now they finna go talk. These are all cop cars. You feel me? They surrounding my shit. I'm definitely on whatever they on. What's up, bro? What's good? I'm not safe right now. I'm not safe, and I'm literally being surrounded by blacked out police cars. And I, I love this shit. What's up? I'ma just. And with Lacey, it is always something, brother. You know, as a black man that is a cop, um, Lacey has all kind of harassment claims from people inside of the city, in the village of Dalton. One of the older brothers says that you know he kicked people out of meetings, and um, you know, and and and, and it's sad, brother Lacey. Because eventually they're going to get your ass up out of their two player. And I hope that wherever you're going, because your ass is definitely going somewhere. I hope you can get it together, family. Okay. And to be treating, like he said, black people like this. 
We didn't, our people did not die. I'm going to be real. I mean, I'm not a kid no more. He's right. Our people died for us to have the opportunity. You know, a lot of us, we take what our people did for granted. We really do. And as I'm getting older up and up there and starting to see how hard life is and sacrifices, man, we, you know, life is hard in the internet era. Imagine what it was like before the internet era. Imagine, you know, how lucky you already born in, in night in the eighties, in the seventies, or even sixties. What if he's born in 1900? He was born in 1850. You think life was easy then? Do you think so? Do you know how hard life was? So, you know, a lot of us, we get away from that. And then we get to, you know, we're, we're, we're the richest we've ever been. We've had the most information we've ever been. I mean, I can live in Africa and do this job. And yet, you know, we have a mayor and a staff that treats her people that she says she loves so much like trash. I mean, you just can't make light of this. You can't. You cannot make light of it. So guys, what do you think is your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. We're just for all you discard the bell. We're out.